How's everybody doing today? Back again with another video for you guys. And today, I got a really sweet, inexpensive unboxing for you guys. But real quick, before I get into that, I first want to apologize for the mess that y'all are seeing on camera. Um, had some friends over last night. Had a blast. My room is a mess. I apologize. Um, so I apologize for that. And real quick, I just want to give y'all an update. I have decided that the next phone that I'm going to bring in is going to be an iPhone. So I'm going to start saving up for that. And, um, I just haven't decided if, if I want it to be the new iPhone SE or if I want to pick up an iPhone 5S. And the reason why I'm having such a tough time deciding is right now I actually found a few good deals on a uh, iPhone 5s 60 64 gig model and it was for about three hundred dollars and then there's the um, there's the iPhone SE which is the 16 gig for four hundred dollars now um, the main the main reason why I'm having such a tough time is because the SE has the same cameras as the 6S and the 6S Plus and that's a big improvement because you can shoot in 4K and as y'all know if you watch my uh, crazy camera deals videos I'm actually really interested in shooting in 4K but my main concern with that is a lot of uh, cameras that can shoot in 4K they have their time constraint constraint limitations and that's something that I don't enjoy like the um the Moto X Pure edition that I'm shooting this video with right now it can shoot in 4K but it can only shoot 4K 10 minutes at a time and the 4K files are actually quite big so I'm actually looking for uh, a phone or a camera that's really inexpensive that can shoot 4K, a, a really decent quality 4K, and have no time constraints on it. So that's going to be one of my deciding factors as to if I get the 5S or if I get the SE. So we're going to see. But, anyways. That being said, I do have an unboxing for you guys, and we're going to get into that. So, I'll explain this in a minute, but let me put this to the side. So today, what I have here for you guys is my unboxing of the, um, the SoundBot SB342 Bluetooth receiver. And I'll explain why I got this in a minute. And the SoundBot SB250 Bluetooth headphones. And now, as I said, as I start to save up and decide which iPhone I'm getting, I'm gonna have a lot of a lot more inexpensive deals on the channel because although I'm trying to save up, I'm still trying to put out content for you guys. So, slide that out the box. Let's crack this. So, right here you can see. Got a very nice carrying pouch here. Feels very durable. I think I'm going to enjoy using this. So, that's that. Let me throw it off to the side. And as, and as always, guys, this was all purchased via Amazon. So next here, got all of our cables here. Let's see. Let's make sure. Um, go fat finger. Boom me in here. So, all right. So you have your aux cables. They're not they're not gold plated, but they're silver. 
I'd be real interested to hear how these sound. I'll let y'all know in the review video. Seems to be a decent length, so that's pretty cool. Put this off to the side real fast. And then we have our USB cables for charging. So, hmm, this looks a little short, but it is what it is. I actually have a ton of USB cables, so this may or may not get used. Put this off to the side. Alright, take that plastic out. Alright. Don't look like we have anything else in the box aside from the unit here. No no manuals or anything. But this should be pretty straightforward. Let me check this box. Alright. Okay, so we do have a manual. We're stuck in the bottom of the actual package. So here's the manual here. And um let's say it looks pretty big. Has a nice little diagram here of everything that's on it. And let's see, has your steps to pair. So I hope y'all can read that. Alright. And just get a nice frame of that for the thumbnail. Bam. Alright, so now let's take a look at the headphones. As you can see, they have a nice foldable design here. So it just folds out like so. And folds out like so. And, you know guys, first impressions. Oh, they feel really big. Which is going to feel really nice. The material feels really good. On this side, it looks like you have your cluster of controls. So, let's see, you have your power, slash on off, and um, pairing button. You have your volume controls, which are separated. That's pretty cool. And then you have your power here. You have your aux cord connector, and you have a built-in mic. Now, the neat thing about these headphones is that they're Bluetooth, but they could also be used as Bluetooth speakers. So, I think, as, as well as power, if you click this, oh, it's up here. If you click this up, you'll actually be in speaker mode so this would be nice if you want to take speaker calls or you want to listen to your music and you don't want to have your headphones on so this does double as an internal speaker as well and then I think if you flick it down it's actually in headphone mode so right now it's in headphone mode if I power it on but that is pretty cool and real quick so these these come covered and it actually, okay, I popped that one off already. Okay, so, it looks pretty cool. Real quick, what I'm going to do for y'all right now is I'm going to just put it on my head. And I'm going to let y'all know how it feels on my head. Alright, let's do this. Oh, it actually doesn't feel too bad at all. It feels very light. I kind of like it. I wish it was a little bit more snugger. Or more snug on my head. Similar to these hash 2s here. But it feels very nice. Now. Let me put these off to the side. And let's talk about. This Bluetooth receiver here. So. As y'all know. I'm on a little bit of a quest to make everything wireless. So little by little, I'm upgrading my setup to make everything wireless. So, a nice little inexpensive addition, I believe this was like 7 bucks, is a Bluetooth receiver. So, as y'all know, I do a lot of work at, at my computer, running these ads and things of that nature. And I listen to a lot of music while I work. And I try, the, the aux cable 
on my headphones usually get snagged a lot because I like to stay a fair distance away from my setup because I do have a TV as my monitor and I don't want to burn my eyes out. So I was thinking it might be nice just to have a nice Bluetooth receiver. So I went ahead and picked this up and it's real simple. It has a plug and play feature and let's see. It works with all of these OS's and yeah, so it works with Mac. All versions of Windows you should be good to go. And like I said, it is plug and play. But real quick, what I want, what I want to show you guys is if you pop it open. Alright. Take that out. Let me throw this off to the side. So if you pop it open here, here is your user manual. So it walks you through all of the steps as to how it, to set it up and pair it. And like I said, it is plug and play, but if for some reason you can't get it to work with your plug and play, they do provide drivers. Now I'm probably not going to use this driver disc because I already set it up. And like I said, I just pop it into my uh, USB port on my computer. Um, Windows 10 went out and found the correct drivers, and we're running no muss, no fuss. So, but it is nice that they include that, and they also have this, so if you receive it, and it doesn't work properly, that's there. And I do believe, yes, it has a support contact right there. Let that focus. So let me throw this off to the side. And I don't know if y'all can hear, but I do have these set up wirelessly, you can see. And I am running some ads in the background right now. So that's that. And let me just show you real quick. So there it is. It's plugged directly into the front of my computer there. And it works no problem. Alright guys. I think that about does it for this video and I'm actually getting a lot of notifications off camera if y'all can hear that I apologize and um, my voice does sound a little weird every time I have a little get together and we have a few drinks uh, I get very stuffy the day after so if I sound very stuffy it's because uh, we had a lot of drinks last night we had a good time <laughs> But anyways, guys, um, yeah, so that was the unboxing of the, um, SB250s, and the SB342 Bluetooth receiver. I'm gonna go ahead and take my time now and start the review process for these. Um, this shouldn't take me any more than probably a week, maybe two weeks. I'll let y'all know. As always, guys, all links to where to purchase this will be in the video description. And um, if you really like the video, please help your boy out and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more raw, uncut content like this, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And as always, guys, if you know anyone out there looking for some quality devices at some really great prices, please go ahead and share with them my channel because I'm doing this for everybody because we all deserve the best. Anyways, guys, I'm going I'm to go ahead and start up my review process and bring this video to a close. Oh, real quick before I uh, close out, though. If y'all have a suggestion as to what iPhone I should get, whether it be the 5S, um, 64 gig model for $300, or just go ahead and pay the extra $100 and get the iPhone SE. Please also leave that down in the comments. And if you want to, please give me some reasons why I should pick the 5S or the SE over the 5S. Because I've been watching a few videos. It's basically the 6S guts inside of a 5S shell. So, you know, y'all help me out with that. I would appreciate it. 
But I'll keep y'all updated as to that situation as well. And I'm going to go ahead and start my review process on this. Um, so, yeah. I hope everybody has a nice day. And, as always, guys, um, if you follow me on Google+, Plus, I will provide any links to any videos um, on this guy. So, aside from my own videos, you will be getting other people's videos, any videos that I could find that pertain to this, the receiver here, or this, the headphones. So, y'all can go ahead and do that also if you would like, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Have a nice day. Peace.